Feeling backed into a corner? Don't worry, I'm gonna get you out of there because today we're insetting seams. I have my diamond sets all assembled already, but if you wanna learn more on how to do it, watch our video on how to strip piece diamond sets. Where I've sewn my diamond units together, I've stopped a quarter inch from the edge of the fabric, which means I'm ready to take and put this square into this seam. This is called an inset seam or a Y seam. So to start, I'm gonna take one of my sets and just fold it back out of my way. We're not gonna worry about it right now. So I'm putting my fabrics right sides together at the center point where the seams come together. I'm going to pretend like this one's not even there. I'm gonna lay my fabrics over right sides together and get them lined up at that edge. But I'm lining it up so I get all my edges right there and I'm gonna have a little overhang on that side. And it should be a quarter inch overhang. So that looks just about perfect. Once I have those lined up, I'm gonna go ahead and just clip that area so that as I move out and work on the rest of it, it's not gonna bother it. I'm going to line my edges up so they're perfect and then clip once more for stability. I'm going to be sewing from the center out. This is also really handy because I've already stopped at that quarter inch mark and that means I can bring it right under my foot where the needle's gonna come down and see exactly where that needle needs to go so there's not any gap in between my stitches. I'm using my hand to bring the needle down. My foot's still up, so I need to remember to put it down before I start sewing, but I want to see I've got exactly everything where I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that foot down, remove my first clip, make sure everything's lined up, and start sewing slowly. Taking a couple stitches, now I'm going to take a couple stitches backwards and back forwards again. This is just to lock it in really well. The other really great thing about starting from the center is it puts the square of fabric on the bottom, which is a straight edge, and it keeps my diamonds on top. Those diamonds have a raw bias edge, and so if they were on bottom, my feed dogs would be pulling at them and stretching that fabric. Having them on top, they're perfectly safe. I've sewn my first seam, now I'm ready to turn the corner. For the second seam, I need to make sure that the first diamond is pulled out of the way as I get all of this lined up like we did the first time. I'm gonna clip that first spot. I'm gonna get my edges lined up, clip the second spot. Now I'm ready to take it to the sewing machine. Just like last time, I'm going to get everything under my foot and start bringing the needle down while my foot's still up. And I wanna bring it down in exactly the stitch I took last time. There we go. I'm gonna take that clip off, bring my foot down. I'm all lined up, ready to sew. I'm gonna start out slowly, take a couple stitches, sew backwards, couple stitches, and then keep going. This time as I'm sewing, my diamond sets on bottom and my squares on top. So my bias edges are getting rubbed against the feed dogs. If you want to avoid any stretching, you can actually put a walking foot on and that's gonna move both sides of your fabric at an even pace. To press, we're gonna go in three different layers. So to start, I've got this one, my first layer going down, I'm pressing towards the square. I'm gonna to come to the other side of the square and press that one over top. And then finally, I come to where the diamonds meet and I'm pressing it over, kind of where it's naturally falling that way. And this is truly a press, not an ironing moment. You get all the seams going the direction you want and you press your iron down into it. 
Once you've set the seams from the back, you can flip it over to the front and get it flat exactly like you want it. And you've done it. You've made an inset seam. If you want to see how this is used in a quilt, check out AmericanQuilter.com. In the member-only area, we have a quilt called Christmas Star, and it's gorgeous. Thanks for watching. A special thanks to our sponsor, Eversone. I love this machine, and if you'd like to get one too, check out ShopAQS.com. Members always get 20% off, and you can get additional savings by using the code down in the description.